Wonderful. So lovely to have you guys here. Uh, quickly, please like the stream. Oh, you have already liked. 19 students, 15 likes. That's amazing. This is what I want in every session. When you come join this session, you should always like the stream first so that I get to know that you are here with a lot of energy, with a lot of excitement. And I'll be able to give my 100% to you guys if you are able to, you know, uh, give me the same response. Hi, Pankaj. Hi, Brajesh, Shiddi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Hari. So, um, wonderful. Let's get started with the session. Teaching, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, all the students who are here for the very first time, let me give you a couple of pointers as a background. Number one, we conduct these sessions mostly every single day throughout the week. Though I had a plan of keeping off for one day so that I can take some rest. That was option number one. Uh, point number two is high sports. Point number two was that uh, we do conduct these sessions and in every session there is uh, a PDF that is shared with you. And this is how your PDF generally looks like. Your PDF looks like this. This is already uploaded in your drive. If you want to check this PDF, check the description of this current video. If you check the description of this current video, you will be able to see a PDF link. That data is always uploaded in this link. You can check the data from this link. Okay, that's how the sessions, uh, these sessions run. Number one, we have sessions every day. Number two, with every session, there is a PDF that is shared with you guys. Uh, you will have to watch this uh, video and then refer the PDF. Yes, this video is live now. Uh, you have to refer the PDF later. In every PDF, you will find some kind of exercises. You will find some kind of uh, reference point. You will find some kind of activities there. So it's important that you refer the PDF properly. Okay. Apart from that, apart from that, we already have covered few sessions on vocab in the last week. This week, we are dealing with enhancing our speaking skills. This entire week, we have dedicated our time to talk about how to enhance our speaking skills, right? In terms of enhancing your speaking skills, we have already talked about a few methods. We have talked about that if you want to enhance your speaking skill, you have to start enhancing your listening skills. You have to enhance your reading skills. You have to enhance your observational skills. So there are a couple of things that you should do for enhancing your speaking skills. Now, so many students are here. Guys, could you please take this small opportunity? It's my humble request. Could you take up this opportunity and like the stream that you are joining right now? Yeah, please like the stream that you have joined right now. It, it's my humble request to do it. Uh, Vicky, I am doing okay, but uh, health-wise, you understand, right? With, with how the pregnancy works with every day. With every day in a pregnancy, you feel a little bit tired. So that's what I'm feeling. But apart from that, it's all good. It's all wonderful. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Very good. Now, my second question to you is that did you guys got a chance to go through the previous lecture and go through the activity that I told you in the previous session. I have given activity one, activity number two, activity number three. There were three activities that we discussed in the previous sessions and I asked you to do these activities every single day. The first activity was about movie clip. The second activity was about reading exercise and there was one more activity which was about collecting data so that you can create phrases on it. Right. In order to understand these activities properly, in order to understand. Uh, yes, in order to understand this properly, you have to go through our lectures of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have already discussed these important points. What kind of activities you guys should do? You can refer those previous videos. OK, uh, you, you are an inspiration because I saw my wife. Oh, that, that's so nice, Danish. That's so nice. Uh, Akshay, these sessions are for English, not IELTS. Uh, if you want to join the IELTS free live sessions, you have to join 10.30 p.m. batch, Indian Standard Time. After this batch, there is another batch, which is for IELTS. Uh, if you want to understand reading, speaking, writing, and listening skills, uh, we have this batch, 9.15 p.m. batch for English to English. 
and we have 5:30 pm batch for hindi to english right all the students who want to learn english with the help of hindi they can join 5:30 pm batch okay now in the previous session this information is for all the newcomers since this is your first time joining these classes hi navin for all of you guys let me tell you that in the previous session on monday we have talked about listening skills we have discussed all the four important things and i have given that this is your activity that you should do every single day all these students right all these students you can definitely go through the previous lecture in session 2 and session 3 we have covered how to copy somebody how to enhance your reading skills what are the things you should keep in mind in tuesdays and wednesdays lectures we have talked about this very carefully right in yesterday session in the last session in the yesterday session we talked about after doing everything after collecting few phrases after understanding few sentences after recording your answer you should always reflect now if you open the previous video if you open the previous video you can actually see that this previous video's pdf you will see that these points were properly explained this is the new pdf that's why i have written discussed in the previous class discussed in the previous class okay that's why it is mentioned discussed in the previous class so in order to understand it properly you can refer the previous class right now in today's class i have a small activity plan for you i have a very small activity plan for you on your screen you see an image and the activity is describe the following image in your words in five to ten sentence sentences there is a image on your screen right you can see an image on your screen uh you have to create a story all of you please listen to this very carefully you have to create a story with the help of 5 to 10 sentences with the help of this image so look at this image properly try to create a story in your mind and probably write it down in the chat box right now okay there is an image on your screen you have to look at it carefully observe what are the necessary things you can see in this image and think of creating a story what comes to your mind when you look at this image so i'm giving you 30 seconds or 1 minute of time and try to create an a story with that uh ma'am i have been watching your 3 years old 30 days challenge that's good thank you yeah try to do this to try to do this exercise right now If you guys are not comfortable in terms of creating stories you can start writing few sentences you can start writing 5 to 10 sentences i've got the very first sentence i'm going to read that all of you guys try to create a story for 5 to 10 sentences or try to write 5 to 10 sentences in separate uh, lines and after this activity i'm going to explain to you how this activity can be used in your actual life to enhance your speaking skills uh the first sentence is this is the room where i saw a man where i see a man try to describe the story in present tense okay the room is unmanaged the detective is finding some evidence in the room it is a living room with lots of uh, what do you say what do you say uh, there is a room One second. Yes, the detective is finding some evidence in the room. It is a living room with lots of stuff. The picture shows an image of a living room. Very good, Ravi. Nice sentence. Something suspicious. I think you wanted to say sus suspicious. The spelling is wrong. John comes to his room. He sees that his books are on ground while he has TV on. While he finds his TV on. Good sentence, Ryan. there is one room there is sofa set man seeing tv there is only one man so you have to say m a n there is also an almari where books put in shelf so danish what you are doing here is you have written three different ideas i would want you to write them in three different sentences put a full stop put a capital letter right there is no proper connection in these ideas that's why it's all mismatched My title would be Mr Inspector Gadget in the House of Chaos. Good. TV is running and man is ready to go out. Okay? Maybe through the dressing sense you made that assumption. Fine. This room is located in the city. That's amazing. That's a good observation Siddhi. My neighbor's house. You have to say neighbor's house apostrophe s. Vinod. 
was robbed. So they complained to the police station. Then one officer came to the room and investigated the whole room. That's nice, Vinod. Quite creative. You are able to create that story with this image. Wonderful. This is the room where I see a man. I think he's a detective. Good. But Pankaj, when you change that sentence, you should write capital letter. I should be capital. T H I S. This T should be capital. There is also a window which we which from which we can see outside. Okay, that's good. Abhi, nice sentence. Ravi, nice sentence. Detective is investigating. There, there is a room. Unique dunya. There is a room. In the room, two child and one man. Where do you see child? Children. I don't see any children in this room. So that's the wrong observation there. Okay. A uh, detective is investigating. The room is looking messy because the man is finding some stuff there. That's why the room is messy. Hmm. Saranya, that's nice. This is a beautiful picture. This picture shows a room with a man inside it. With a man inside it. Ah, uh, there is a man who is wearing a coat and a hat. That's wonderful, Ravi. It's important that we describe that person as well. When when you look at an image like that, it's important we describe everything in that image. Where I when I reach them, uh, okay, okay. So you have created a story just for you. That's quite creative, I would say. I got a call from my client, from my client, where they told me that their daughter, their daughter was missing. When when should be I, W should be capital. When I reach there for invite investigation. I found the whole room was messed up. Spelling of messed up is wrong. All the toys were randomly lying here and there. Ah, uh, just blue. You had a wonderful sense of creativity, but there are a lot of spelling mistakes, lot of punctuation errors. So let's try to solve these things as well. You know, try to focus on investigation spelling because I know you got the idea that you wanted to write investigation, correct? Because you told that the daughter was missing. So take care of these things. There is a picture drawn on the wall, beachy bird. There is a picture on the wall. In this picture, I saw this man is very confused. Good, Nitish. The room is unordered and all the things are messed up. Things means plural, so you have to say are messed up. But good sentence, Vahora. Sunlight is coming through windows. Man is looking suspicious. The person who is in the picture seems confusing. This room color is beautiful. The man in coat is holding magnifying glass. Nice. Okay, okay, wonderful. He's trying to figure out any clues these days. Trying to visualize that looks in a city with interior design. Sagar, this is amazing. Someone forgot to close their laptops. Awesome, awesome, guys. So what I'm what I'm noticing right now that you guys have taken some time and wrote some beautiful sentences. Went to one day outing. When we came back, my brother opened the door. We were shocked with the mess that happened. Amazing, amazing. Hmm. Himanshu, creative. I I love this sentence. You have written culprit order a pizza and Sherlock Holmes was pissed as the box was empty and he was hungry. Put a full stop after that. Now, wonderful. Can I have your attention back, all of you? Can I have your attention back quickly? Look at the screen right now. With this simple picture, when I asked you to make an observation, you guys came up with some amazing stories, right? Somebody said that you know he looks like Sherlock Holmes. Somebody said that pizza box was there, but it was empty. Somebody said there are books and it's a very messy and unordered room. That's some quite good observation. Somebody talked about the weather. Somebody talked about the city life. These are the things that necessary should be described when we are talking about images like that. There are few factors that you should always consider when you are trying to describe something. In your real life, you come across such situations quite often. When you are talking to somebody, let's say you are talking to a colleague of yours, and this person is asking about your weekend trips. What what did you do uh, over the last weekend? Or they may ask you, "How was your vacation?" So when it comes to discussing topics like vacation, weekends, husbands, wife, birthday parties, celebrations, they are more or less about describing those events, just like this picture. In your actual life, you don't have a picture in front of you, but you have situations. You have images at the back of your mind, 
right? You have images at the back of your mind and your simple task is when you are trying to have a conversation with somebody, try to create a picture just like this one and try to describe and try to describe those pictures like the way you have described this image. Is this concept making sense to you? How this activity can be related to your personal lives? Can I get a yes or no on that? Guys, can you also like the stream? I don't think it takes that much time to quickly like a stream. It only takes a few seconds, right? It only takes a few seconds to do it quickly. So many students and not enough likes. All right. Okay. So I hope you are, you are getting the essence of this activity that how this activity can actually be used in our actual life. When you saw this picture, you thought of so many creative ideas. You thought of creating a detective story. You thought of creating, talking about the mess. Somebody thought of talking about the uh, sofa set that in, in the room. Similarly, in your actual life, in your actual life, you have to think of every situation like a story. You have to connect the dots and try to create a picture like you have drawn here. You have to think of what was the situation like? Where did we visit? What was the environment like? What was the weather like? Who were those people that you went to this trip with? All these necessary details are important when you're describing a situation in your actual life. Okay? Right. Danish, of course, at present, we don't get the idea on a time because we don't do this practice quite often at our home. We wait for the actual opportunity that, you know, next time when somebody is going to come and talk to me in English, only then I'll do that. But the intention behind me teaching this activity, it's very simple. It's very simple. And try to focus here. This is an activity that you will have to do on daily basis or at least twice, thrice a week. Okay. You have to do this activity thrice a week at your home. You will find such lovely pictures online. You just have to write pictures to describe in English. You will find these pictures online. Try to pick one picture per day or as I mentioned thrice a week. Try to pick a picture and try to describe it. Initially try to describe it by writing and slowly and gradually upgrade yourself from writing to speaking. So instead of Taking some time to write it down on a piece of paper, you should simply open your phone and you should try recording your voice. You should say that, that by looking at this picture, I can understand that, you know, something happened, this, this, this. We have to do that in such a way. I can speak English, but I don't have translate all sentences in my mind, but some, so what should I do now? Pankaj, initially try by writing these sentences and later on think of speaking these sentences. Okay. Right. Himanshu, I will come to that point just a while uh, after you will see me, uh, you Sagar as well. You will see me discussing these points in our upcoming slides. Okay. So this is what I really need to do you to do that at least thrice a week, right? At least thrice a week, you have to think of creating an image in your mind and try to record that image in your own sentences. Okay, and the best part of recording these images is that the entire answer has to be in present tense. Thank you, Shivam. Sh Shiva, your sentence is detective enters into the room. There is a window. There is a window in the house. The room isn't tidy. TV is also running on. Laptop is not shut down. That's good. That's good. Okay, now let me talk about how, what is the right way of describing an image? Pankaj, this will answer your question. Ma'am, sentences, I'm not able to translate all the sentences. This may, will be answering other people's question that at the time of speaking, we don't get the right idea. So I'm going to help you out with a technique or with the strategy that how can we describe an image instantly, right? Uh, nah uh, Nahidur, this will also help you with your answer. How to describe an image instantly? How can we do that, right? Shivam, please focus how to describe an image. So there are few sentences that can always be a part of your description. S number one, this is an image of a room. First of all, you can always give the first sentence to talk about what image are you seeing? Is it an image of a room or is it an image of a jungle or is it an image of a party? The first thing that, that comes to your mind when you look at that picture, you can give the first sentence 
if you if you think of the very first sentence you can write this this is an image of a room okay number 2 you can talk about the weather it is a beautiful day it is raining outside it is a beautiful day it's a sunny day it's it's a rainy day whatever weather you see in that picture you can describe the weather any picture any situation in your life any occasion in your life weather can always be entered if you went for a trip you can always say that the weather was not very good the weather was amazing the weather was beautiful the weather was sunny it was raining on that day every time you can talk about the weather it's very easy it's a sentence that can always be fit in number 2 number 3 we can talk about the background in the background of this image uh lakshmi please focus here i'm trying to help you out how to solve the problems i'm giving you a method how can you not make these mistakes because there are few sentences that you can always try to speak without even wondering whether my grammar is correct or my words are fine or not because you have to use the exact same sentences to describe an image okay you can say that uh screen is blurry guys can you see me properly all of you is there an internet issue please confirm if if you can properly see me if the screen is blurry uh you can all clear i can see if it's creating an issue please uh, downgrade your video to 360p maybe that will help you downgrade your image downgrade the video's uh, strength okay all right screen clear nothing is blurry fine thank you thank you thank you for confirming Okay so I think this would be better sometimes Okay fine So number 4 is you can talk about the background you can talk about what is there in the middle of the picture you can talk about what is on the right hand side what is on the left hand side at the top at the bottom right so in order to help you to understand these directions properly i have an image on my screen you can see this image carefully and you can see that let's say this is the picture This is the picture. In this picture you can see several corners. You can see in the bottom left hand corner, in the top right hand corner, at the top, at the bottom. In the background means what's behind, what's there in the background. In the foreground means what do you see in the front? Right? What do you see in the front? Then you have on the right hand side, on the left hand side. Then you have in the middle. So, in order to describe any image, first of all, you can talk about what is this picture about. Second, you can talk about the weather in that picture. And third, fourth, fifth, sixth point, you can simply say that in this picture at the top, I see, uh, I see this painting on the wall. In the middle, I can see lot of scattered uh, pieces of books, and everything is lying on the floor. In the background, we see a plant and a window where you can see outside. On the right hand side, there is a man who is standing there, who looks like a detective and who is very confused. On the left hand side, you see a TV, and there is something playing on the TV. Am I making sense here? So instead of worrying about how to describe this properly you have to just worry about what do you see on the front on the back on the left on the right at the top at the bottom correct so it becomes very easy because now you don't have to worry about what to say you already know what to say you just have to describe in terms of directions you have to tell us what's in the front in the back on the right on the left on the top right you have to describe different directions Okay just blew answering your question if you are talking about image in front of you it can be present tense the entire answer can be present tense if you are talking about an image like this this can be present tense but let's imagine you are talking about what did you do on the last vacation how was your last vacation the moment you say last vacation it automatically becomes a past tense so you can say that room was tidy the room was beautiful the weather was beautiful we stayed in this place then automatically this answer becomes past tense okay now can you please quickly confirm if this is making sense to you how to describe an image properly with the help of directions is it making sense to all of you 
थैंक यू सुनीता फॉर कन्फर्मिंग प्लीज कन्फर्म इफ दिस इज मेकिंग सेंस नाउ देर इज वन मोर स्ट्रैटेजी वी आई गिव यू अ मेथड टू डिस्क्राइब एन इमेज विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ अ पर्सन इन इट बट इफ वी हैव अ पर्सन इन द इमेज इफ वी हैव समबडी इन द इमेज your answer becomes automatically much more easier in that case what do you have to do right in that simple past tense or past continuous pankaj the entire answer can be given in simple past tense easily okay all right if you have an if you have an image where there are people in it you can simply say that in this photo i can see so you can say you can talk about that person a little bit you can say that in this photo i can see a room which is which is messy so the first thing is your introduction when you talk about an introduction all you have to do is to tell what do you see in this picture i see a room in this picture i see a house with a room which is messy the very first sentence number 2 now you can give a detail about the place you can say that this room is in a house which looks like in a city because if you see through the window you can see other houses so you can say that in this picture i am seeing a room which looks like as if it's a house and this house is located in a residential area this house is located in the city this house is located in the mountains based on what do you observe you can talk about the place then you can talk about the position position as in on the left hand side we see this on the right hand side i see this in the middle of the photo i see this right as i mentioned shiva when you are describing an image in front of you please use present tense if you are talking about something which is already over use past tense right you can also say there's a highway at the back we can say that but it doesn't look like a highway because there are houses on both the sides so generally highways don't cross in between in a society okay now when it comes to describing about this person you can say that you are uh, there is a man who is in his 20s and this man is wearing a long coat with a hat on the top this man is holding a magnifying glass glass because he's trying to investigate something he looks like a detective to me but he's very confused or at the same time this person is also watching at the tv and he's trying to find out what happened in this room okay in my opinion this photo is very interesting because this person who looks like a detective is actually very confused so you can talk about this person's age you can talk about his clothes his what is he doing in this picture how is he feeling and at the end you can give your opinion what do you feel after looking at this image do you feel happy do you feel sad do you feel interested do you feel amazed do you feel surprised whatever you feel you can write it as the last statement also it's a choice how many sentences do you want to write you can skip some of these points it's not it's not necessary to cover all the points it depends on how lengthy you want your answer to be if you want your answer to be little bit lengthy you can talk about his age clothes his actions his feelings everything that man who is standing in the corner in the image can actually be talked about in four to five sentences you can easily describe that human itself in four to five sentences then you can give two to three sentences to describe the room you can give one sentence to talk about the introduction one sentence to talk about the place and one sentence to talk about your opinion about that image okay now please confirm if this is making sense to you yes or no right is it making sense to all of you how to describe an image how to describe an event in your life let's say hmm let's say somebody ask you this can you please uh, tell me how was your birthday how was your birthday describe your birthday so you can say that my birthday was really fun and in my birthday i had uh, my birthday was set set up in a cafe which is next to my house in in this city called as noida let's say we can say that and a uh, lot of people came to my house from all the age groups my parents were there my in-laws were there my friends were there and everybody was wearing fancy clothes everybody was was wearing as if it was their birthday I enjoyed the whole environment everybody was happy in that party everybody was eating 
everybody was enjoying and dancing in the end i thought it was the best birthday i have ever celebrated right uh, just blew initially you can start with a sentence but later on you should do a paragraph okay same strategy you can talk about introduction you can talk about where was the birthday you can talk about what were you doing in this birthday you can talk about people's clothes you can talk about their expressions their feelings or you can talk about your clothes your age your actions your feelings and then you can give your opinion in the end correct this describing an image is a very effective method if you use it properly if you try to use it properly this is a very effective method right it's a very uh, somebody has written a sentence there i spent my birthday with my family and closest friend they organized a small get together and we had a meal together we clicked pictures made videos and enjoyed that's good that's good okay sagar that's good so try to describe it extensively how will you do it extensively if you try to use the strategy there on your screen okay this was it for uh, describing an image as i told you please try to apply this method in your life at least 3 times a week i understand every day it's not possible since we are already doing other activities but if you do this thrice a week it's more than enough you pick an image from internet try to create an image uh, try to describe it with the help of the method that we discussed record your answer and try to observe the improvements in your answers slowly and gradually we are working on grammar as well you know next week we'll start talking about grammar rules so most of your doubts are going to be cleared at that time as well on your screen you see step number 6 you you just have to simply say that uh, images to describe in english images to describe in english okay now last step or second last step is speaking after you have followed all the previous steps after you have worked on listening skills reading skills you have already worked on let's say a uh, copying part reflection preparation after you have done all of these things it is finally time that you speak and you have to put yourself in situations where you have to force yourself to speak lot of you might be staying in a city where english is important for example i stayed in bangalore for 3 to 4 years and i did not know their local language they did not know hindi so it was important for me to speak in english it was compulsion so if you are somebody who are working or living in a city where english is required you need to take advantage of this situation you need to put yourself you need to force yourself to speak in english okay you need to force yourself to speak in english but let's say if you don't have this advantage if you don't have somebody to practice english with you you have to start practicing with yourself how can you do that again i have given you two simple methods which you can do at home without anybody's help without anybody's help you can practice these things at your home there are two methods that we're going to discuss okay which you should do and these are very simple methods we have discussed a similar method above as well right so number 1 this is an activity that you guys can do this coming saturday sunday you know you will take two days of time to do this activity activity is very simple you have to collect topics of everyday english speaking situations right this is useful sagar this is really amazing if you are in hyderabad you should use this opportunity to start speaking in english hmm so what you're going to do here is you have to collect topics of everyday english speaking situations and practice what do i mean by that there are few situations where it's important for you to speak in english like a restaurant shopping mall if you are buying a new vehicle if you are going for a job interview if you are casually meeting a friend in a coffee shop these are some examples where it's important that you speak in english similarly you will collect topics of everyday themes you have to think you have to take out some time to do this activity once you have made a note of all the themes you can start collecting some phrases and sentences on these themes how can you do that internet is the best example easy example i need few sentences or phrases on restaurant i need few examples or sentences on a uh, job interview i need few sentences on meeting a friend in a coffee shop okay 
uh yes so this is what you will be doing you will be collecting some phrases and sentences on these themes after the collection is done try to do one simple difference between business english S siva can we can you write down in a piece of paper and send it to me as i told you all of your doubts that you want me to answer in these classes which are not relevant to what we are discussing right now make a note of them that's why i asked you to do that activity and hardly six or seven students have done it rest of you haven't you have not taken time to do it collect all your doubts on a piece of paper write your name on the top click a picture send an email to me right i'm going to answer all these questions slowly and gradually in these sessions but in the middle of the session it's not going to be that easy okay so you're going to collect phrases and sentences per theme do it one theme per day that's more than enough one theme per day is more than enough right uh biki this is not a method this is not a method it is just directly the last step of finally practicing in english right this is the final method of practicing in english this is not a method this is like uh i have to i may be able to speak in english with my friends but before doing it before doing it let me practice at home so you have to collect some phrases and sentences on these themes practice them loudly at home right practice and them loudly at home especially standing in front of the mirror initially you can look into the paper and repeat after that and later try to speak from your memory okay are you understanding what's happening right now let's say i have a theme restaurant okay let me give you an example let's say this is a notebook i i am collecting all my themes in this notebook my today's theme is restaurant so i have written the title on the top restaurant you will write the title on the top restaurant okay after that i have open internet i have collected some 5 to 6 sentences and phrases which can be easily used in a restaurant if you remember in yesterday's class in yesterday's class we have discussed few few phrases and sentences related to restaurant how many of you remember that how many of you remember yesterday's discussion about restaurant related sentences and phrases how many of you remember that so mila of course it's going to be tough if you're going to do it directly in front of other people you will not get the right set of confidence that's why it's important that you do this practice at home you do it at least 5 to 6 times so that it becomes so natural to you that next time when you are doing it in front of people it's going to be much more easy and slowly and gradually you do it 5 to 6 times with other people you're going to get much more comfortable with time okay these things take time if you want to feel the confidence you want to feel you may have to work really hard at home okay all right so you're going to write the theme on the top restaurant right restaurant on the top collect 5 to 6 sentences and phrases 5 to 6 sentences and phrases okay you're going to write it there and then close the internet stand in front of the mirror and say that today i'm going to practice on the theme restaurant if your memory is not sharp you can take the help of these notes you can say that if somebody ask for a food i uh, somebody ask for what do you want to order i can say that i would like to have a cup of coffee with some uh, cake next to it okay i want to have a cup of coffee with some cake next to it this is my sentence number 1 or i can say that if i'm ordering some food i can say that you know what i need a a a mac burger with some french fries and a coke next to it okay coke next to it you can also say that can you get me a mixed veg with some uh, bread uh, you know butter naan whatever you call it you can use those kind of sentences i would fancy a cup of tea amazing shumila the right way of learning word the right way of learning words this is how you should do it okay so after that you can say that if i have to ask for the menu how can i say that i will say that can i see your menu for drinks can i see your menu for uh, food this is how you're going to practice at home once you guys you guys are comfortable with this technique you are comfortable with these phrases keep your notebook away keep your notebook far away stand in front of the mirror and say that i want to order a cup of coffee with french fries next to it say it loudly 
in this case you don't have to worry about your grammar because these sentences are taken from internet and they are grammatically correct am i right or wrong they have to be grammatically correct so you will say that in front of the mirror i would like to have a cup of coffee with some uh, a cake next to it practice it listen to your own voice get comfortable with your body get comfortable with your facial expressions get comfortable with the sound of english when you get comfortable with your own sound the confidence automatically increases confidence works in miracle like a miracle it takes time it's slow but when it comes it comes effectively your confidence is going to increase every single day the very first time you go to a restaurant and you are able to deliver the entire order properly without getting confused without getting stuck your confidence is going to increase properly right but you cannot experiment this right away you cannot just go out and see, see that you know what i have written five phrases let me practice in the market please don't do that please don't do that practice at home per theme take 3 days of time to practice one theme at least 3 days of time practice one theme okay one theme for 3 days stand in front of the mirror speak loudly listen to your own voice listen to your own voice and then jump to the next theme okay pankaj you don't have to change your accent please don't change your accent speak the way you are speaking right now you don't have to catch british accent or american accent the way you speak right now you need to speak it with clarity with proper grammar and vocab that's more than enough okay all right uh, some guys are wanting to have chat see chats you can definitely do i don't mind it but don't try to waste your time instead focus on practicing like the way i have told you right now okay please try to do that while i go to office i used to speak in english and used to talk about that loudly one day a guy asked me you mad uh, that's good just blue when people say you are mad that's the right way okay uh, i want because i can't understand whatever you're speaking but when it comes to speaking it just lag behind yes uh, gargneel at at the moment we are not taking any live sessions these are the live sessions that i'm conducting so I understand you you are uh, getting all the concepts but when it comes to speaking it's not helping try this it will help try this please okay now on your screen if you jump back sorry sorry guys hmm come back on the screen right now if you notice here once you are comfortable with it you can try them in public right once you are comfortable with it you can try these sentences in public on the first try please notice this please notice this shama this is going to answer your question as well yes no neel i'm from india i am from this wonderful country bharat i'm not from abroad here okay our email address is this learn with sam and ash at gmail.com this is our email address okay this is our email address all right on the first try you may be nervous and may hesitate to speak comfortably this happens with everybody on the first try you will be nervous and you will be hesitant but with time it gets better and you will gain confidence even in public with time you will get better and you will get confidence in public okay now this was as bikki i think you asked me you can say that this is another activity you guys can practice i'm also telling you how often should you should practice this right i i told you how often you should practice this so you can practice this uh 3 days one thing 3 days one thing practice is more than enough and keep on revising your themes after every week keep on repeating them that's why i asked you very importantly to keep a note of each and everything that you're learning every lecture that i'm taking if you listen to it very carefully you can try to make notes and you will have an amazing course ready with you which you can refer any time you want you want everything that you're learning make a note of it every phrase that you're learning make a note of it and i keep on insisting please try to remember phrases because phrases do not need any sense of grammar knowledge and you can use them directly and they are very easy at the same time 
right do we have to practice and make uh, it's important that you do practice navin it is important that you practice all right moving on to the next step this is something which two students in the above chat has already mentioned we can also talk about whatever we see around speak about whatever you see around this is a very simple step to practice alone you see so many things around you from morning till evening these things can act as a topic these things can act as a topic for example things like bed things like bottle things like lights things like cupboards these things you see in your room from morning till evening right if you go outside you may see other things every single word is a topic for you to speak in english one topic is a step to think of some sentences on it when you see topics when you see these things take a moment stop yourself from whatever you were doing take that 30 seconds or 40 seconds of time and think of sentences initially start with simple sentences and with time you can upgrade them to intermediate level right that's good pankaj that's really good pankaj in which class are you right now which class are you in right now how many of you are in school how many of you are in first till uh, 12 standard anyone good night mangal that's good pankaj he started speaking in english and you replied in english that's amazing this is how it should be done please mention uh, what are you guys doing are you a student or you are uh, in school in college just mention that uh, i was assuming that pankaj that's why you have so many questions you are in 8th standard all right pankaj i didn't know that i didn't know that anybody else who is in school right now anyone in school yes abir it's okay you may feel uncomfortable initially but with time you will get better please do that okay madam you can do that sitaram that's fine you are a teacher shruti wonderful shumali is preparing for ielts you are in college college is done repeat first sentence which you said for restaurant right now dipika you can just go back with the lecture please you are a teacher working lady i want to learn english good 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 that's good that's wonderful okay coming back to your screen if you notice here i have mentioned that initially you can start with simple sentences watching from sikkim thank you uh working women iti 4 years ago some days ago all right wonderful so on your screen if you notice initially you have to start writing simple sentences and later you can upgrade to uh, intermediate level sentences you are a graduate willing to do b ed teacher your name please my name is ashwini choudhary iti and learn english working professional wonderful so the very first theme i have given example of uh, of one theme here uh, the theme is bed we see bed in our houses and i've tried to collect few simple sentences on your screen notice guys can i have your attention back please the first sentence you can you can create is i have four beds in my house i have four beds in my house then i have all the beds are newly built all the beds are newly built these are simple sentences one bed belongs to my parents second to my sister third is mine and the last one is for a guest right my bed is of black but others are brown then you can say we enjoy sleeping on these comfortable beds now can you guys tell me if these sentences were hard or were they easy right tell me if these sentences were hard or were they easy initially you will try to write down these sentences okay that's that's good that's good i think easy i also tried yesterday a friend called me and she is good in speaking we spoke nearly amazing shama amazing easy peasy sentences these are easy sentences but the strategy here is very simple initially you start with easy later on you jump to creating stories but take your time give at least 2 months to this practice at least 2 months to do this practice 
okay initially you can start writing these sentences but with with 15 days of practice on these themes right after 15 days of practice you need to record these sentences directly without writing them down you have to take your phone and say that in my room i see a bed and i want to talk about bed today we have four beds in my house all the beds are newly built one bed belongs to my parents second is to my sister third is mine and the last one is right the last one is for my guest uh, my bed is of black color and my uh, other bed in my house is are of brown color we enjoy sleeping on these comfortable beds they look easy because i wrote them down for you but when you have to create these sentences yourself they may get little tricky on the top of that if you have to record these sentences without looking into the paper they becomes equally hard okay so the jump has to be made slowly and gradually initially pick a topic collect five sentences practice later don't write five sentences directly think think for 30 seconds and then record your answer for five to six sentences making sense uh it's this ashwani vani not vini okay if you can't think of them directly start by writing them on paper and later start repeating them important thing here is that you need to put yourself in a situation where you have to think and speak in english if you speak in english at home slowly and gradually you will gain confidence to speak in front of people okay you have to understand the simple thing that if you speak in english at home slowly and gradually you will gain confidence to speak in front of people but this part home part where you have to slowly and gradually practice for 15 days then you have to do that this is the hard part this is the hard part okay the pick up these classes are every day this is the hard part lot of people don't do this and they expect to change their fluency automatically it's not going to happen let me share a small story with you when i was in school or in college there were some speech competitions some drama competitions or some debate competitions and i used to participate in those competitions every time when they used to select the students and say that this is the topic you have to come and prepare and then we'll do the selection so before we had the selection process at home i used to practice so much that it becomes so easy for me to speak in front of them because i've practiced at least 100 times at home right 100 times at home and then we used to go for the selection process let's say i got selected after selection again before the main competition i used to practice so many times at home so this this whole situation of practice again at home increases your confidence tenfold it increases your confidence so much that when you practice or when you speak in front of actual crowd your fear is already reduced okay uh okay that's fine uh, writing down on paper is a good idea will help okay that's wonderful native speaker because they speak pankaj some understanding of language comes with age okay it comes with age as well yes you are in school give it some time slowly and gradually you will get an understanding of foreign accent as well okay all right all right now coming back to the screen again practice makes a man perfect this is a step by step process you need a lot of practice at home to get confidence to speak confidently in public okay in order to speak confidently in public you have to do this slow process you have to try to practice at home and later you can actually try practicing in front of people okay uh sita ram try to follow these situations please these solutions that i'm giving you right now it will slowly and gradually help you and i'm guessing sita ram you haven't checked our previous videos please check the classes from monday tuesday wednesday thursday four classes i have only talked about strategies and the strategies that i have given the strategies i have given does not need anybody's help you can do them yourself it only needs a good internet it needs a good phone which you all have because you are using these live streams you are using youtube and everything it only needs that right it's simple processes but they take time you have to do it every single day okay you have to do it every single day only then you can see the change happening in your actual life okay all right 
Now, do you have any question with respect to what we just discussed? We have talked about all the necessary points when it comes to enhancing your speaking skills. Tomorrow, in tomorrow's class, if we have a class tomorrow, okay, I'm not confirming tomorrow's class. We will have a class on Saturday. When we connect on Saturday, we're going to have a quiz on speaking skills. Okay, we're going to have a quiz on speaking skills. Everything that I have taught you will be asked in that quiz. Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to ask you questions of whatever we discussed here. We're going to have some activities in that quiz. So make sure that you check all the previous four videos. You check Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's video. You collect all the data, try to create notes, understand the strategies that we have discussed so that on Saturday, when we have an English quiz, quiz, you guys should have all the answers ready for yourself. We're going to do some exercises. Okay. Uh, exercises. We're going to have quizzes from these points that we have discussed right now in the class. Please refer the PDF so that you don't get confused at that time. I'm going to ask you a few other questions, which we have discussed in the class. We're going to try to make it a little bit funny. You ask me a lot of personal questions, right? So I'm going to put some personal questions in that. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for attending these live sessions. Enjoy yourself. Try to pass it on to your friends and colleagues. Please send it to your friends as well. They will enjoy using these live sessions as well. I will enjoy having more students here. Okay. Good night. We'll catch up either tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Yes, Bikki, tell me what is your doubt? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Good night, everybody else. Uh, Rahil, it's not possible. Please understand. Zoom is not possible for us. I can only take live sessions on YouTube. Yes. Any other questions? Okay. If you have further questions, you can write me an email. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.